guys, this is Karen. I wanted to show you today how I did this background for my journaling page. And it is really super simple and anybody could do it and I hope you give it a try. What I'm using is I'm using the color in marker or watercolor twists. Love these. So many different ways to use them. Uh, this one I used the blues and yellow and green and I'm going to show you how to create the same look but I'm just going to use a couple of different colors. So I'm using the reds and oranges here. I'm going to turn my page for that. Alright, I'm going to use uh, the plastic sheet that comes on the back of my Big Trinity stamp. So just the one that is laying there and I've taken it off to use. You can use any kind of little uh, non-porous surface that you have. Let me set that to the side. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some a little water with my little mister on there okay um, I'm gonna use the brush also that came right in the pack and grab the color directly off well, I got a little dirty orange there because I was using the other color but I'm grabbing it right off of the watercolor twist I'll switch over to some red I wonder if this will work even. This will also work to get some color down on there. You see how it's just transferring right on there. And maybe a little more over here. And then you can use your brush to get that together. So basically, that's what you're going to do with whatever colors you want to mix together. So you're using the water to activate the watercolor twist and then spreading it out on your plastic sheet. Okay. Then all you're going to do is you're going to pick that up and this is not watercolor paper so I'm just going to do this relatively gently Turn it around, a couple different directions. And I get this kind of mottled look, if you will. I think I need some yellow in there. Add a little more water. I need my yellow, which has a lot of green on it from last time. Get some of that color on there. And I'm, I'm turning this to, so it uh, isn't all on one side. Pressing it down. Ta -da! So I'm getting this great background and you can spread things around if you'd like. And then if you want a couple of um, dot or sprays, I guess, if you look real close here, see there's a couple of different sprays down in this corner, a little bit right there. That's also from the brush. I'm going to use the red. I want to get it pretty wet. get that pretty wet, wet and then see how that's coming out? Look at that. You get these great dots everywhere. Little sprays. Just like remember how you used to do that with toothbrush and paint? <laughs> so now you've got this great background that you can create on and that took me just a few minutes and once you do that once you let it dry you can add stamps I added some washi tape some other little things from a devotion that I was working on and um, I've got another great page in my journal it adds a lot of great color and interest to the background but it's super super easy watercolor pencils they're awesome 
All right, enjoy it. Thank you so much.